or sentimental theme to relate to everyone, so we pick people in our life that light up our world. So for him, it'll be her grandmother, for me, it'll be my brother, and for the both of us, it'll be the world. We wanted to do a color scheme of like brown to resemble like a candle of wax before and after it's melted. We didn't want to do neon colors because we felt neon colors didn't really make our page pop. So we did like subtle colors. Haley, where's our navigation? Don't you remember, Dasha? We moved our navigation down to the bottom because it was too big and bulky and it didn't quite go with the professional look we were going for. Since we still needed navigation and we both always have wanted side navigation, we found a code after we searched for a very long time. We found a code that was side navigation and we both really loved it. Also, we did uh, Twitter and Pinterest for our social media sites and Twitter was both of our favorites. And tw because Twitter helped us connect with the world easier and get the word out about making the world a better place. Haley, what's that half tree looking thing in our love address bar? That half tree looking thing is a favicon. It's usually by the URL or in the tab of the website and it gives you a general feel or a general theme of the um, website. Can you go to our second page please? Yep. The second page is where we created our slideshow. We had a couple of problems because we used dynamic drive. Wait, Haley, what's dynamic drive? Dynamic Drive is a site with scripts, tutorials, and other crazy cool stuff. We had extra arrows in our bottom of the uh, slideshow, and we couldn't get them off. We opened a new code, we like a new blank page, we entered it in, we took it out, and it just wouldn't come out. So we ended up using a different one, which was by uh, SlideShare, but for some reason it's not showing up, but we were able to make our slideshow a full screen. Also, we also got our uh, your favorite code from CSS from Dynamic Drive also, right? Yep. My favorite code is actually the code that is on our links, and it gives our links a little shadow effect right under our slideshow, and when you roll over it, it has the same effect as our navigation. Uh, what was your code, your favorite code, Dasha? My favorite code would have to be the survey code, only because I was able to get other people's opinions, my coworker, my family, and my friends, about how I can change my site, how can I improve it, um, other things that I can change because something to you might not be as well as something good as something for someone else. Can you go to our next page please? Which is where we put our video. We decided to make our video um, of our family saying that they love us because we felt that it brought our page together. Can you play our video? Yep. <laughs> I'm on my way to work, but I want to make you a video real quick to let you know that I love you, I miss you, and I'm very proud of you. Four amazing women from Apple at Partridge Creek helped us create this book, this video. They gave us transitions, they gave us call, uh, they gave us uh, text for our video and what looked right and what didn't. Can you go to our next page, please? This is where we created our four-second animation. Me and Haley don't really have good artistic ability, but all of our friends draw like Vincent Van Gogh. And we just couldn't find uh, this tree because we couldn't draw it ourselves because all of our friends were too busy with their AP classes and things like that to help us create this tree. So we had to go through folders and folders just to find this tree and put it on. We ended up using CSS6 to render this and put our uh, keyframes inside and at first our leaves would dart down and I had to keep going in and finally they got to flow and once I got it to work I just kept playing it over and over and over again because I just can't get over the accomplishment that we made. <coughs> Can you go to our third page? Yeah. Haley, I thought our navigation was in the middle. Our navigation was in the middle, but since that's not typically where a professional navigation goes, we had to search for a code which we looked far and wide for that code. But once we finally found it, we got it to the top and we got it to look great. We were both so happy when we got that to work. We actually got it from W3 Schools, but I kind of forgot what that was. What was it again? W3 Schools, since you forgot, is a website for new web developers with tutorials and references to coding. Haley and I were originally scared of a partnership. Someone having that much responsibility in your grade and actually what you place in a website. We didn't think that someone would to give someone that much opportunity and having that responsibility was kind of hard. But actually this partnership was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. Having a partner that had most of the key traits that I did, dedication, hard work, creativity, working hard at night just to finish something, was something I was looking for. What, Haley, how did you think about our partnership? 
I loved our partnership. I felt the same way when we were going into it. I was really scared because I couldn't trust someone to do, to take that much part and get me the grade that I needed. But working with Dasha, I did realize that we did have the same key traits. We both strive for success so much, and we were we were both so dedicated to this site. And I'm so glad that I was worked that I worked with such a great girl. Being unique had to be one of our weaknesses, only because when we saw someone in our class with the same things we had, we immediately had to change it at that moment. And the time frame that we had, that was kind of ours. And one of our strengths would have to be our key traits. Dedication, hard work, Haley trying to get this navigation spent days and nights at home, going through different websites trying to get that navigation at the top of the screen and on the side, because we didn't want to be like everyone else and put it in the middle. Me, when I didn't have a computer, I went on my iPhone and in my notes, I coded our index page. One of the hardest things ever, by the way. What did you think your weakness was? Um, my weakness was definitely the unique part where we both really needed, we really did not want to be like everyone else, but it's so hard to find something like that that's not already done and then make it your own. This competition um, helped us find our career paths. I want to be an information technologist and probably going to TV broadcasting only because I love talking to people. And for Haley, I want to go into computer science. I'm not really sure like how in depth or anything, but I'm, this competition really helped me because I really was not sure what I wanted to do, but this competition really helped. One of the things we did in our class was we had to help our competitors out. We had to help them fix their website and tell them what to do and what not to do. And that's something I learned. When you're competing with someone, having them give them an opinion on your site and having you give yourself an opinion on theirs on how to beat you is something to overcome. And I had a lot of I love looking at all of my competitor sites and actually helping them out. Haley and I plan to give our three repurposed items, the whisk, uh, the spoon, and the log with the can do on side, to her grandmother as a gift, for my brother as a gift, and for the world to help people learn to repurpose, to reuse items. Don't always throw your things away. Just try to learn how to not, uh, to turn your pants into shorts. We want to thank the Michigan Women Council of Technology for giving us this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you.